What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just got over here to the shop. I'm working on a race car today. Track outing yesterday went very good. Car did exactly what I was hoping. It was a little faster than what I wanted it to go, but you know, it is what it is. We had a good time. Everything seems to be okay. It drove back to the pits. It drove into the trailer. So that's always good when it can load under its own power. So we just got a couple things to do today. We got thaw out happening at Darlington Dragway this Saturday. So Saturday, the end of February. If y'all are close by or if you're not close by, you want to come hang out at the track and watch some great back of the track no prep racing, come see us. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hey guys, so just a couple things what we're doing today. I've got some brand new front tires. I bought these at the actual end of last year. These were going to go on the new car. I didn't anticipate having to be racing this one uh, at the beginning of this season, but it is what it is. Uh, the front tires are wore out and I flat spotted them a couple times. Actually, both of the passes at the track the other day uh, on, on Sunday when we were at the track, both passes that smoked the front tires. I don't know what the deal is. I, I mean, everything, I, I guess it's just me hitting the brake. It's a little bit too hard. It could be something, uh, maybe the front end's not settled back down. I got compression on the front struts completely tight on extension so maybe the front end's not settled and then i'm grabbing the brake just a little too tight so that's what some of that smoke was from the from the top of the track but anyway we got our hoosiers we're gonna we're gonna have matching tires for the first time ever we're gonna have hoosiers on the front and we're gonna also have the hoosiers on the back these are the ones that we got for digger die last year and you see these things don't have any passes on them at all they well they have three passes on them total lots of dot left and these are the do6s We'll run them with the tubes. So we're going to do that. We're going to take the oil filter off of this car, cut the oil filter apart, make sure there's no metal in it. Oil pressure was pretty good on the two passes. It is dropping a little bit throughout the pass. I don't know exactly what happened is happening there. It does have, it doesn't have any spikes or anything crazy though, like we did at the end of last season. So hopefully it, it starts off about 70 PSI and then I let go of the trains brake button and it drops down and it stays about 60, 55 to 60 pounds of oil pressure. And it stays that way the whole pass. So, I mean, you know, 6,500, 7,000 RPM. I mean, the general rule of thumb, what I've always heard is about 10 PSI per thousand RPM. If I rev it to 8,000 RPM, I just don't think it's gonna have 80 pounds of oil pressure. But I mean, maybe it's okay. I mean, it's just got a, a standard uh, high volume, high pressure pump in it, but that's all it's got. So, I mean, it, you know, it's just one of those things. It is what it is. Uh, I think it's good, but we're going to just verify in the oil filter, make sure we don't have any extra metal in there. I don't think we're going to uh, put the front tires on. I'm going to take these to a shop real fast and get a shop to change these. And then we'll change them on the bead locks. All right. So just like that, we got new front runners on. Just got the back tires off. We're going to roll in there real fast and change those out for the hoosiers and you could there was a little bit of rubbing happening on the defender it was down there when we were at cletus's uh, at the quarter mile and i just beat it in a little bit more that's just one of those things <laughs> it is what it is these are the, the svo that might be what my i need to try to straighten that out too that's what i can hear brake calipers kind of making some noise this little pad here the anti-rattle pad is about to come loose so i need to put that on there uh, qa1 shocks again i love these things these things are awesome uh easy to adjust and these are uh qa1 170 12 inch 170 springs for all the weight that we have back here so i mean you know it's just one of those things when we do no prep we put a lot of weight on it these are 25 inch tall tires i wish i would have went ahead and got 26s you know or maybe even 27s the new car is probably going to get the 26s at a minimum and the reason why is if you put a 28 on it, the front of the nose is higher. And so if you want that same ride height, if you lower it down, which essentially gives you more travel. So the bigger the tire is on the front, the more travel you can get. The other thing I got to do today, I may do it when we get to the track. The car was tracking just a little bit left when we were, when we were at the track this past weekend. And so I need to do a little bit of an anti-roll bar adjustment on it. But otherwise, I mean, tires look good. Uh, and I did, <laughs> I did also decide, y'all gonna think this is funny. Um, I did decide I am not going to cut the oil filter apart. And the reason why I'm not gonna cut the oil filter apart is because if I find a little bit of glitter, I'm still gonna race this weekend. So if I'm, if I'm not gonna let that stop me and pull the motor apart, 
which I don't think I've got an issue, then what's the point in, in cutting it apart, right? Um, and you can see I've got, I'm still having a little bit of a bump steer issue. This thing going down tra track at full travel in the front, the tires are dead straight with just about a 16th of inch towing in. But when it's sitting at ride height, you can see that one right there is uh, pointing a little bit to the right, but not much. But look how much this one over here is pointing. It is drastic, the difference. So I've got to do some more bump steer adjustment so that it stays the proper, it stays the proper angle the whole way. That's one reason it's eating my front tires up. All right, let's go change back tires real fast. Here is the difference between a W and a non-W. This is a 2018.5 Mickey Thompson W, and this is the Hoosier D06, which is actually just a tad less than 10 and a half inches. It's 10.2, but look at the difference. I mean, there is a, it's a noticeable difference in size. They're not exactly lined up, but now you can kind of see it. I mean, it's a solid, the, the W has a one inch wider tread pattern. So you can see it when I stretch my hand out there. Okay, so there you go. So we got these all both mounted up. So Hoosiers on the front, Hoosiers on the back. Let's go stick these on the car real fast. And then I think that's all we're going to do tonight. I think we will be done. It is getting dark outside, it's starting to get cool. Okay, so we got it pushed in the trailer here. Mr. Brantley was helping me out today. I appreciate it, Brantley. Done a good job. We got it all set up. So we got the new Hoosiers on the front, new Hoosiers on the back. And that's really all we got done today. <laughs> I was going to do a couple other things. But it is what it is. Uh, I'll set roll bar uh, and our roll bar when we get to the track. And I'm probably going to jack up the back end just a little bit. Um, and we're going to play with bump steer when we get to the track. Either on Friday or Saturday morning. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to get this thing to quit eating up front tires. Alright guys, so we're ready. Darlington Dragway this weekend. The thaw out. Be there Saturday. 64 cars. Small tire. $20,000 purse. Later, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you.